It stopped raining now. Yes, this is Better Bodies. As you can tell, Better Bodies, sorry, sorry, no it's not. <laughs> this is Better Cities. Um, yeah, there's a flood. There's a f layer when it's flooded and now it's gone all misty. Um, this mod really adds character to all of the cities and I really, really like it. It does kind of make my frame rate suffer because um, it adds a hell of a lot of stuff. Oh, there's the castle. But it's awesome. It's brilliant. Now what my character is doing now is he is looking for an inn. Three weeks at sea and he that that horrible, hard, flea-infested old mattress that he's been sleeping on that he was just absolutely sick of in, in the hold of that smelly dark ship. Horrible. He's so glad to be back uh, with, with, with on land, pretty much. He doesn't like doesn't like sea travel. He likes it on land and uh, you know, with with ground under his feet, with with the earth and the smell of the trees and and the sound of the leaves and everything, and a, a blue fig bakery which he's now going into because he deserves some treats because he's lived on nothing but fish. I either remember. Um, so I need some vitamin C before I get scurvy, pretty much. Hello there. I hope you haven't got any oh, yeah. hairs in the food. Please. I don't need to ask about rumours. I'm just hungry. I want a blackcurrant pie. Yeah. And a Leowin flatbread? Hmm. Now what I'm looking for here is... Restore health. Yeah. Yes because that would be very useful because whenever you see me doing this nine times out of ten I will be looking for restore health because I want to restore my health <laughs> very much since oh yeah something I've got to do there it is there it is look um, I don't know what I'm doing there it is look restore health let's get rid of that okay uh, what's blessed word Right, so that's my turn on dead spell. Can that be number seven? Voice of the Empire can be number six. That can be number five. My healing spell that I can only cast once per day can be number four. Um, weapons. That's number three. That's number one. And I'll try and get a, a two-handed sword to be uh, number two. Oh, yes. Repair hammer. Number eight. Yeah, in fact, I don't think I'm going to have my. Uh, yeah, my my turn on dead spell there. I think I'm going to have it. Uh, I think I'm going to have that as alchemy. Yeah, what I also need is a mortar and pestle. Later, right now, I just want. I want a nice bed, and I want. I want to eat my food. And I just want to. What time is it? 1 p.m. A little, little too early to sleep. No. That's another thing I'm going to say. My character, it's raining again. My character will not um, be joining any guilds because he's been. He's had a job. He's been in the Imperial Legion for a good number of years now and he's suddenly free. He's in this world and no one backing orders at him. No one sending him on missions or telling him to clean his armor or whatever and so the last thing he wants to do is join a guild and get the same thing so I'm gonna go to the chapel to say a little prayer to Mara because he was born with with the uh, birth sign the ritual and that mentions Mara so I imagine that's like Mara's type of sign and he's superstitious is Varex and quite religious so he's just gonna stand here and just say a little prayer to Mara he hasn't done the pilgrimage to the way, way shrine yet obviously just to say thank you for not drowning me on that boat and we had a good voyage and all that and you Hello. don't look very healthy at all I'm Avras Alice I'm the priest of Xenophar at the Leowin Chapel Hi. Now, the Anvil Chapel attack is part of the Knights of the Nine um, 
downloaded content, which I will be doing. Um, now, Verax was born in Anvil, and he is planning on visiting there. What he wants to do as well is see the Imperial City, because he's never seen it before. He's heard all these people talk about how glorious the Imperial City is, and how he wants, how how he really should go and see it. So, uh, his his ba vague plan is to get back home to Anvil, but he's going to go to the Imperial City first. But uh, what is this Anvil Chapel attack type thing going on? The worst thing is, no one even knows what happened. People heard the screams, but when they broke down the chapel doors, everyone was already dead. That is shocking. Uh, grave news from Anvil then. But that will have to wait, because we're in Leowin right now, which is like as far away from Anvil as you can possibly get, so... Let's ask about Leowin. I used to be a priest of the Tribunal Temple in Craigenmore. After the collapse, I drifted for a while until I joined the chapel. The Beggars and the Wicked Thieves Guild still trouble me. I wish the Nine Divines offered charity and comfort to the poor, like the temple did. I do too. Let's ask for some rumours as well. Why not have a little bit of a chat with the, uh, with the priest here? I've heard that the Gale knows a lot about mysticism and sheep. Okay. Okay. And yeah, we don't have to ask him about the um, about the, ma the 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 magic that he sells because we are not a mage. Huzzah! My afflictions are banished. Hello. How can I help you? You no, you can't really. Hang on. No, you're not the uh, the woman who has the problem with the uh, with now? the smelly house. Should we call it now? Yes, which I shall do in a little while. But right now we're going to head... Oh, look, an inn. Horrible, rainy, dull day. It's like living in, in England. And uh, I did go to the right place, didn't I? Greetings, Imperial. Yes. Greetings, Mah Mahay and Numin. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You look important. Can't have Chinaslin. I'll just put I am in the there. primate of Lewin and Zenithar's advocate. You are important. I can ask you about. You know anything about this? Uh, you might know something about the Anvil Chocolate attack. Then things go from bad to worse nowadays. Priests murdered on the chapel altar. Oh, what next? I don't know. It's terrible, though, isn't it? Absolutely terrible. Bye. I shall go to Anvil at one point and see what this scar is. Right. Let's rent a room. Well. You found the three sisters. Beds and food. Not cheap, but you get what you pay for. I'm Shuravi, the sister that works and worries. Shamada is sweet and decorative. Shomara is dumb as a post, but she can cook, at least. Now it's expensive, yes, but he's been on a boat for three weeks and he's been in, in barracks and slept in swamps. I don't think Varex would have really had much... He'd have had time off, obviously, but never before has he been able to afford some luxury, and now he just about can, so he's gonna... he's gonna do it. I have just the thing for you. A lovely suite on the second floor for only 40 gold a night. Quite a steal. Interested? Yes. Of course you will. You'd be silly not to. It's just up the stairs there. Second floor, the east wing. All the comforts of home. I don't have a home. Stop mocking me. Um, okay. And we know what we're looking for here, don't we? Restore health. Yes. Is that all? No, of course, I need a mortar and pestle before I do this. See me again. Uh, but I'll do I'll do that when Goodbye. bye. I'm gonna check out my 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 room, my new pad. I'll do that when I go to the the Mage's Guild, and I I know out of character knowledge that this quest that I've got uh, will take me to the very NPC that sells the uh, mortar and pestle, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh no, we get free food, we get an apple, and we get one, two, three. Four strawberries, yum yum yum. Alright, let's eat. Uh, F2. That's right. So, um, 
let's eat some bread and some corn and an apple and then have our blackcurrant pie and our strawberries. Mm -hmm. Ah, very nice. Feel a lot better for that now. Feel much better. <laughs>